I'm gonna scream and shout and throw you a trout. I'm gonna scream and shout and pour the milk out. I'm singing Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. I'm singing Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. Good day, kind sirs. I am Rather Shroom, and welcome to our Let's Play of Bad Dream Butcher. It's about a guy who has big meat cleavers, and he has to. That always freaks me out. So as you can tell, it makes that noise really as well. It's about a guy with meat cleavers for hands, and he has to make it through the day without cutting people, and he has to live with his horrible, his horrible disability. Now, um, actually, I saw this on ModDB, and it was a pretty high-rated horror. And it, the screenshots and the art style just looked awesome, and I knew I had to play it. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, yeah, this is a point-and-click game, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. Holy crap. Uh, wait, never mind. So I think that's it. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not too sure what the hell just happened, but okay. So 73. Can we go this way? Oh, 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 you're really freaking creepy. Do you want the hammer? Ninety-nine. Oh, okay. So far, this game has an incredibly creepy vibe to it, and I'm digging the art style. It's really awesome. I'm not quite sure how I use things. Oh. How do I, oh, wait. Oh, can I like combine things? I have no idea what this thing is, but it's creeping me out. Hi, okay, so we got 15, 99, and 73. Can't do anything that way, but I can go this way. And there's a bird here. How do I... I didn't cheat. What are you talking about? Okay, so do I right click on things? Can I right click on anything? Ooh, the music is awesome, though. How do I go back? I want to leave, thank you very much. Oh, there we go. What? Wait, what? Why did that just crack? Can I poke you again? Do you want a twig? Um, num, num. Ooh. Ooh, what did I just do? I did something. I just dragged my mouse over there. There's a high. I'm not sure what that is, but I have a feeling I'm gonna end up peeking into it and it's gonna scare the crap out of me. Um. That, okay, that thing's creeping me out. This is actually giving me chills, because I'm not, oh, I'm not really the best with horror games. So, this is sort of disturbing me. <sighs> hey bird, do you want a maggot? It's got awesome music and sounds. What do I do here? I am confuzzled. I'm not sure how to use things. Okay, so what I've learned is apparently you can grab something from here. And of course it's a key. Two. 33. This is 15. 73. What does that say? 
Oh, I miss so much. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, everybody in the history of existence has just as much trouble as me with this game, so at least I'm not being left out. But... <sighs> hmm. Maybe we stick the sharp glass in there. No, maybe we stick the magnet. No, the hammer? The hammer? The twig in its butthole? Oh, that looks like a butthole. We can put the sharp glass in there. Um, I'm not sure what, oh, those are maggots, okay. I'm just trying to see if I miss anything. Look at it. Hmm. Let's just see goodbye. bird. It looks really pissed off. Can we like rub this? Because I know when I messed over it a little while ago. It... What are you? You're so creepy. Stop it. GG. No, it's a 99, but it looks like GG. And if you're wondering what that snapping is, it's one of those slap bands where you go like <laughs> onto your wrist and it's like goes, it snaps on, but it's trying to stay. Oh! Oh! So there was a whole entire area that I was missing. You have to go, where was it? Okay. Oh! Oh! What the hell? We just stabbed that... Uh, this is freaking me out, man. What the hell? And there was like a little guy down there. Oh, no. Oh, that's just twisted. Oh, my... What the hell? Oh, I should not be playing this in the middle of the night. Oh, God. This is just... Oh! Oh, this is so weird. It's not even really that creepy, it's just disturbing. What the... Oh, oh, oh it's so weird. Oh, this, this is so weird. And nothing's in here. That takes me back at the Oh, oh, this is so weird. I'm getting like massive chills right now. It's not even like scary, it's just uh... Oh my like goosebumps are oh, so freaking weird. <laughs> <laughs> I died? What the... Jeez, stop! Just calm down for two seconds. I don't even know what the hell just happened. What the hell, man? That was so weird. Hey, you got some wire? Did I screw up something? Well, I lost a finger. Is that it? That's the end of the game. I beat the game. Oh, that was... <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Ah! Just calm your shit for one minute, okay? You're freaking me out.
This isn't really one of those jump scary type, like I'm not like screaming or anything, because if it was jump scary, I would be screaming, but it's just, uh, it's so, it's eerie, it's disturbing, and the art style makes it all like so much like more. Oh, this guy, this guy's the worst. He's so freaking creepy. Ooh. Go in here, can I wire this up or something? And the sound, oh god, the sound, whoever made the sound is an absolute genius. Okay, go back over here. Um, hmm, I got shovel, hammer, twig, maggot, wire. I had a key, but I used that for the room. Jesus, this gave me a long video, and I want to finish it all in one part. It's supposed to be like 20 minutes, but I spent a lot of time not cheating getting a pickle i like pickles oh uh oh there is um there's something stuck in there okay i see what we did we reached in there with the uh wire and we got the thing that was stuck in there out. Uh, somebody want a wet rag oh please don't tell me i have to go back there What rag, anybody? What rag? Uh. What rag? What rag? Anybody wanna? No? Okay, then I'm just gonna. This is so weird. It, 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 it. I like these games because it's not. They're not scary, they're disturbing. Like, this is just. It's so weird, but it's so good at the same time. Like, whoever crafted this is a genius. Who made it? It was like, Dead Rat Studios, I think. Something like that, I don't know. But it was, it's an indie game, and it, it came out like, I think in November, but I've never heard of it until now. Oh, it's so good though. It's not a flash either, it's like a full download and everything. Oh, my arms are covered in goosebumps. This is so freaky. Like, this is on it. This is scarier. This is, like, a, one of the most disturbing games I've played. It's just so... Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh, no, not you again. I lost another finger. Is that the butcher guy? Is that the butcher guy who keeps like, is that the one who cut our fingers off? Okay, let's, no, here, no, here, 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 no. oh. Oh, 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 that's really freaking creepy. Look at the hand. Every time, look okay. it, it's only got a few fingers left now. Okay, so we got a pot and a key. Let's get the hell out of here. Does it go here? Uh, okay. Uh, anything I've used? Twine. Okay, I wonder if this is all gonna come to in, come into like. Ew. Is this all gonna come into play eventually? Cause right now I'm just sort of running around, throwing stuff in places. Like I mean, it makes sense, but it's just. It's, 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 they're, they're cool puzzles because they're sort of like, they're not what, what you would expect them to be, but they're something that if you knew, you knew that if you think about it for just a little bit, then you'll, Jesus, that scared me, you'll figure it out. So I'm officially missing two fingers, and I've got sharp glass, shovel, hammer, twig, twine, maggot, and a pot. A pot. Why does that... I knew it. I freaking knew it. Do I throw the full pot over here? No. Do I go in here and throw the full pot? Is there a fire somewhere? Like, if you think about it for a little bit, you'll figure it out. But it just requires a little more brain power than the average point and click game 
Is it pee? Oh, somebody peed. That's gross. Banana pies. They're good for your eyes. Unless you're like this guy and his eye is stabbed out and lying on the ground. Let me up. Let me up. How do I get up? I don't like the creaking because it almost feels like somebody's like staring at you from behind like... Oh, I thought I saw him. Like, hello. Can I give you something? You're really freaking creepy though, like, honestly. I think that's the first really good, like... Can I do anything here? I got... I've got a maggot. Anybody want a maggot? It looks like it's sort of giving me the middle finger, like, F you. <laughs> um, anything over here? Says that weird ass butcher guy. How do we stop him from taking our fingers anyway? Cause I figure like if you get to a certain point, you fail. Um, I like how the environment sort of changes when you interact with it. Like when I moused over the windows, I didn't even click and it like cracked. I just found that. Now why is that highlighted? Oh, this is, this is, it's difficult, but it's like, it's sort of like one of those, some of those puzzles where you just, oh, you're so, you're so creepy. I thought you were dead. There's nothing, oh, what the hell is that? I saw that. Oh, my dog's leaving. A cooking glove. Oh, there was, um, Close my door. I don't want to be able to look at it. There was a, uh, no, not here. Over here, there was, no, where was it? Oh, is it back in the uh, place with the hanging guy, uh, 33? Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, let's go back there. somewhere. Who is it? See, that's the thing. There's like really subtle little things that you know you're gonna have to pick up. Uh, there was a stove somewhere. What was it? Oh. Okay. Where the hell was it? Um... I'm just looking for like any little objects. <sighs> can I walk anywhere? No, only back. I can walk that way and that way and uh, between. Nope. Mm, stop it. Stop looking at me. Can't go anywhere in the shop. Nope. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? I don't understand what that is. Oh! Yes! I found the key. Woo! I saw it, but... Now we get the key to victory or Santa's knees, whichever one comes. <gasps> Can I take it? Um, oh, oh. Okay, now what do I do with this? I've got a mouse trap. And this is broken and I need to cook that. Can I put coal in there? No. Hmm. Nothing over here already. <laughs> What the hell? Jesus Christ, that actually gave me, that actually jump scared me. Where'd that guy go? He's still looking at me like a creep. 
So I lost another finger. Hmm. I have to be careful now. Because I'm guessing if I lose all my fingers, I die. Anything over here? Is there anything I can do in here? Can I like catch the bird with a mousetrap or is there like a marsupial? A marsupial. A marsupial. A marsupial. A marsupoli. A marsipel. A marsipelia. A marsipulia. A marsiplupli. Hmm. What do I do? Ah, oh, I got. Oh, I'm like shivering. This is so weird. <sighs> I don't like you. Uh, I don't want to go back because this is just that scared me. I've got like this tingling in my scalp that always happens whenever I get scared, and it's like it's like there's like little bugs in it, and it's ugh, it's just it sucks. It really looks like it's giving me the middle finger. I like how the background never changes, but like it somehow manages to highlight like everything perfectly. Oh. Whoops. I wasn't cheating. <laughs> Is there anything? Uh, no, that only takes me back if it was like a new area or something. And I'm like, ooh, Discovery is my Discovery channel. Mm. I keep thinking I see something like right here. Hey, little faggot. Anything I do in here? There's a poke. There's two pokeballs, some wooden sticks for vampire killing, a pad, some gift cards from Subway, a small pile of crystal meth, an empty can, a crumpled up love letter to your long lost wife, a bottle of absinthe, and a book. Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. <laughs> and in here we have a bucket of rotting. Um, Eyeballs, a cooking pot, and yeah. Is there something to do with Micker? Micker? Can I take your cordman? Boxes? You gonna? What are these? They look like buttons. Okay, why didn't I think of that before? Because I remember the mouse hole, I thought that was like, suspicious. Now let me guess. Or do I use it back on the cat thing? Whatever it is. Mm-hmm. That makes sense, a fishing rod. Yeah. Oh, I can use it on that. What the actual F? Why did I just... I got a dead fish from that. Oh, oh, there's my wire. Uh, what do I do with that dead fish? That was weird logic that came out of nowhere. That was it? That was it, apparently. Okay, so that was my, I guess you could say let's play, it's called Desert Fox by the way, of Bad Dream Butcher. It's not the only one, I think there are two more in the series, but while it was short, it did a good job of 
overall disturbing me and just oh that was it was weird but it was a good weird you know like it was the weird that sort of captivates you because it was sort of a fear of the unknown because you don't you didn't know what the black things were like wh who the butcher was and why everything was like that it's like it was just it, it was good it was it was pretty good for a free indie horror game like a lot of the things you see these days are crappily made fps engine horror games but this no this the art style and the music and the sounds overall it was absolutely stunning that was honestly my favorite part of it um i just love the drawing way and how the background of the actual game stayed the same but it still managed to highlight all of the game's sort of focal points no matter what area you are in. So yeah, it was a good game. Uh, you should go check it out. Uh, so that was that was my, uh, once again, that was my let's play of Bad Dream Butcher. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to become a kind sir today. And I'll see you next time.